In this video I'm going to show you how to set up Minecraft Forge to work with Eclipse so that you can start creating your own Minecraft mods. So the first thing we're going to do is in our web browser head over to files.minecraftforge.net and you're going to download the latest Minecraft Forge. Actually we're going to download the recommended. I think this is the best one. If you only want to install Minecraft mods then you can download the installer but we want to actually do some programming then go for the MDK. Note that I'm on Mac. This video is about how to get it working on a Mac. So when you click MDK it'll open a new window with lots of ads. Don't click anything just wait. You can click the skip button and then the file it will ask you to save the zip file. So we're going to save it to our downloads folder and that should be here now. Voila, there it is. Next, we're going to create a folder on our desktop called Forge. And the file that we just downloaded, the zip file, I'm going to put in that folder. Let's have a look. And then we're going to double click it to unzip. And there it is. Great. The next step is you need to install Eclipse if you haven't already. Now, Eclipse is free. Just Google it and you'll see it's the top result. You can click um, on the link and download it. I've already done this step, so I don't need to do it again. Um, Eclipse is installed. Now we have to get them both working together. So what we're going to do is open a terminal. This is the little console window on a Mac. If you don't have a terminal icon in your bar down the bottom like I do, then go to Applications and Utilities, which is here. And you should see terminal there. Okay, now we want to in terminal move into the forge directory that we created on the desktop. So cd is the command to change directories and I'm going to go to desktop and then forge. And if you type ls you can see what's in that directory. So I've just got the two things. I've got my forge directory and then the zip file. So now I'm going to move into the forge directory and if you do ls, you should see all these other things, including the Gradle. So this is what we're going to do now. We're going to run a command to set it up with Eclipse. So we're going to do backslash G-R-A-D-L-E-W and then set up decomp work, whoops, workspace Eclipse and then hit enter. Now this is going to take probably five or ten minutes. There's nothing else you have to do. You can continue working on other things and just let it run in the background. So I'm going to stop this right now and then come back when it's all done to show you the next step. 